do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos Hello students today we are studying chapter animal husbandry and in that we are studying topic types of fishes we all know that fishes are of two types like marine fishes and your sea fishes but there is another classification to fishes let's study about it today now depending upon the structure of fishes we have seen there's lot of variety to fishes the small fishes the big fishes some one those have lot of thorns or the ones that are bigger gills etc now if you observe the fishes that are present in fresh water are comparatively smaller in size as compared to sea fishes also the gills or the respiration process is very different in both of these fishes the mass quantity upon their body is quite different in compared to sea fishes as compared to the fresh water fish and also the variety in fresh water fish is very very less as compared to sea fishes so if we go and observe the number of fishes in marine life it's huge and few of the types are aquarium fishes now aquarium fishes are one which are termed as semesis fighting fish this fish basically have a life span just for 2 years it has a respiratory system or the gills present in them are very very sensitive to pollution index or abnormal level of oxygen they are classified under aquarium fishes these are the ones that are basically kept into aquarium ponds just for observations or for people to come and observe they are the no they are never consumed the reason why it is done is because they have very less body mass or weight to them the consumption fishes are this one the jawless fishes cartilaginous fishes and the bony fishes now jawless fishes example is the agnatha fish whereas cartilaginous fishes include shark now shark being a sea water fish has lot of mass on its body it has sharper jaws is a predator in the sea survives on every animal and its nutritional levels inside the body especially in the mass to ratio index is quite greater whereas so bony fishes have lot of thorns associated with them there is lot of fiber in their structure also the body mass is quite less the nutritional value is little less as compared to sea water fishes and the time till they perish is very very low especially the fresh water fishes perish as at a shorter span as compared to sea fishes they take a lot of time to perish which is a very important parameter especially when someone is doing fish farming and this fish farming is only for economic benefits so students in this part of the chapter we came across types of fishes i hope students we all here are very clear with this concept thank you